welcome to a very short walkthrough of the 2021 Google Sheets Habit Tracker. I changed this version a little bit. It has some extra cool features. Um, let's start with the setup. It's extremely simple. You want to track your habits. So we go to the setup template. You have two boxes here. First of all, write your own habits in here. That's exactly what we're going to do. Maybe by coincidence, you have exactly the same things you want to track as I already put in here. Because this is literally what I track for myself. If not, you can select them all and hit backspace to delete them and write out whatever it is that you want to track. Of course, one habit per line. So maybe it's read one chapter. Maybe it's go, go running. Then it is, who knows? Cook something healthy, drink water, journal, and what else shall we take? Write an article. So after we wrote this in here, we will see that our main template already copied the stuff that we wrote in the setup. Then you see a bunch of emojis here and they change. They're different depending on how many habits, uh, how many boxes are ticked for that day. If you like the, the emojis I chose right here, you can just keep them. If not, you can delete them. And in field E3 to E9, you can write whatever emoji you want to have. If you want to give yourself a hard time and punish yourself for having done Oops. Having done no habits at all, you could put a poop emoji for zero habits done. For one, I just pressed enter. Uh, on Mac, to get the emoji keyboard, I press control command space. And here we could do a, a weird face. Here we could do a straight face. And here it's starting to look like it. Bottom line, you can put whatever you want here. Uh, the emojis are up to you because it's your template. And I just added these in to make it a little more fun. And fire. I want a fire emoji. There. Now. Take care, if you have no habits ticked, then this poop emoji will always appear. So that's why when we started, I left it empty. <laughs> As you can see, we have poop emojis everywhere. And when we, the more habits we tick, the better the emoji will look. But that's not all. Here, at the end of each of the months, we have a column with totals. The total amount of read one chapter we did. We have the current streak, and the longest streak, that's seven. Let's see. If I tick another box here, the current streak turns into two, and more, and more. And this is the same for all of it. Totals, current streak, longest streak. Then, this is new. We, can, we don't necessarily need to do a habit every single day. Maybe we have a target we want to hit for the month. So we want to read a chapter 10 times a month. We want to go running 20 times a month. We want to cook something half the times. So 15, 15 days of the month. We want to drink water every single day. And this day, oops, this month has 31 days. So I'm going to put 31 there and so on and so on. You can set whatever goal you want in these green, in this green uh, column, these green boxes. And here, in the progress section, you will see how far you got on how much of a percentage you are. And once you hit 100, the box is going to turn green. And of course, we want that every single box is going to turn green. Because that means that you hit your targets at the end of the month. And this you just repeat. Actually, this, this already was the setup. This already was the setup. This is the only thing you need to set up. The habits, the emojis you want, 
the goals, uh, the, the, the target you want to hit per habit for this month and you can keep it as the same month or you can set a new target in this green column. And then you continue tracking and at one glance you see how well you're doing either by looking at the ticked off boxes or by looking at the totals, your streaks or how on par you are. That's it. Good luck tracking your habits. If you're on your computer a lot, I would recommend to save this, save this template to your bookmarks so that it will appear uh, very easily and you can reach it with fewer clicks. Bye, thank you for watching.